multi taction by multi touch. Okay. Check out this table. This is, uh, this is normal Windows 8. Yeah. Um, we have uh, there the music table is running Windows 7. Uh, so it's a table that has basically a desktop computer. Uh, Anything touched, really. touched uh, technology. Our SDK is uh, certified, uh, that. officially supported for Ubuntu. Uh, wow, but, yeah, that's awesome. Don't really matter that much. Just load on the Yeah. How do you go back on this? Uh, uh, there's um, this Windows 8. Oh, there we go. Thing. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. So Windows have, 8. Uh, have, you, have you seen the wall yet? So what exactly am I looking at here? Uh, this is an application that was created to showcase the fact that multiple users can interact with the screen at one time. So each side of these cubes represents a different sound. If you'll notice, when I remove the cubes, the music's going to stop. Each of the round ones are a sound effect. It's going to modify the sound. So if everybody wants to go ahead and the cube, and you are now all digital DJs, there you go. Come on over, try it out. It's using infrared technology to read the 2D markers. You can adjust the volume by rotating the cubes, and you can modify the sounds using the sound effects. Again, this was developed just to show you that multiple users can interact at one time. A more practical application for a display like this would be in a museum, a university, retail store, restaurant, anybody that would have a use for a multi-touch display. Look at this workspace. Can you imagine having a desk like this in your office? So we have some application. That is a huge desktop. Looks like he's running some, some type of Photoshop program on there.